as a pony. And once again, what the other lovers have long considered our Super Bowl, the Pony Awards took place on Sunday night. It was an evening that celebrated all that is Broadway. Musicals and plays, both original and the revised, were given ample time on the United States Television Network CBS. Hosted by the Late Late Show's James Corden, himself a Tony winner for the turning one man, to the nerds, there was plenty to smile about, laugh with and cry for. One of the most fun parts as a viewer was getting to see so many of my friends, either in their seats or on stage performing with their respective companies. There were a few in Hattie's Tone, a couple in the Legite, more in Oklahoma, Tootsie, The Prom and The Share Show. I found myself cheering very loudly seeing them all in their glory, doing what they do best. It was also cool seeing these same people out of costume and in their party finery as they headed to the different after parties that followed the awards show. It was also fun watching the different presentations themselves. The company of Inky Proud displayed their art coupled with athleticism. The cast of the Legite, led by nominee Alex Breitman, then about that whole being dead thing, taking a swipe at fellow nominee Adam Driver for killing Han Solo, Mr. Driver played Kylo Ren in the new series of Star Wars movies. Newly minted Tony winner Santino Fontana led the company of Susie in his character's self-centered quest to rule the Broadway world, which included a costume change into a sequin town, with makeup, red fingernails and heels, but left your dressers, Santino. It was also incredible to see when the Tony winner bought Matthew's creations on fellow winner Stephanie J. Block as she played Cher to perform the leaf with the rest of her company. And it was wonderful to really wait for me from Habit Tone, watching first-time winner Andre Shields step up on stage to perform. One of my absolute favorites though was the excerpt from nominated play Toyer Boy. With choreography by nominee Camille A. Brown, the cast performed Rotten, Jerusalem a cappella with amazing step choreography. It was also fun to see nominee Jeremy Pope go from playing Eddie Kendricks in Too Proud to playing Ferris in Toyer Boy celebrating that rare thing that he's been able to do, to be nominated on the same night in two separate categories. The winner's circle voted quite a diverse group. Sergio Trujillo, who first came to the United States as an illegal immigrant, had a message for all dreamers, that the American dream was still alive, and that he was living proof of that. Ollie Stroker became the first actor in a wheelchair to win taking home the best featured actress in a musical pony for playing a Dolani in Oklahoma. She dedicated her award to other disabled kids, saying that they were represented. Shields won for best featured actor in a musical for playing Hermes and had his tone, giving us his three cardinal rules to longevity, surround yourself with people whose eyes light up when they see you coming, slowly is the fastest way to get to where you want to be, and the top of one mountain is the bottom of the neck, so keep climbing. As its own director Rachel Chastin, in her own acceptance speech, mentioned how there needs to be more women directors, she was the only female director who directed a musical this season, as well as the only female director in her category, as well as people of color. There are so many women who are ready to go. There are so many artists of color who are ready to go. And we need to see that racial diversity and gender diversity reflected in our critical establishment, too. This is not a pipeline issue. It is a failure of imagination by a field whose job is to imagine the way the world could be. So, let's do it. The evening is, more than anything, the one night our community has to celebrate. We celebrate some amazing shows and the people who make them happen. Theater is one of the most difficult art forms with actors immersing themselves in their roles and members of the crew creating the scene eight times a week. It shows appreciation to the audiences who flock to New York to see the shows. Tribute is paid to the creative forces that make these shows possible, whether it lasts four years or closes a week after opening night. And watching it from halfway around the world makes me appreciate how big of a deal a night like this is, as well as filling me with joy getting to see those who deserve it finally get their due. To all the nominees and winners, congratulations. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.